Chisia. Sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting of a storm. <laughs> Are you all right? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. We are in the gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar? Someone returning home. So you don't know why you're here. Where are you from? didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. because of the etheric sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop of every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great! Let's go together! sure about you you must be a resonator too you've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand and you have a gourd this is proof you're a resonator your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use though also we have resonators who can detect the formation of tacit fields nearby like what yang yang just did she can tell all kinds of information by reading the streams in the wind that's her resonance ability while i couldn't feel Plus, not many people are gonna hang out in the wilderness these days, unless they're resonators. It may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my! <laughs> Shadow. Huh. Huh. So 
you still remember how to fight despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. from the fight? This is the statue of Jue, the sentinel in Zhenzhou, in the shape of a lung. There is one capital and six cities in Guanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. Timing. The hour is upon us. <sighs> Swift and resolute. Strike from the shadows. Let me be your blame. Huh. Swift and resolute. Huh. Huh. Moment of resonance. Huh. Let me be your blade. I didn't even get 
a chance to help, and Yang Yang just rushed over to protect you like a mo mm. Anyway, Yang Yang was trying to shield you, and then BAM! The test of Discord was taken care of before I could get a good look! She's yeah. <clears throat> oh, by the way, speaking of Baijia... No one was there. The place where we said we'd meet the Baijia. She's the resident we've been talking about. Baijia can heal with her resonance ability. And we found you together at the bottom of the gorge. Baijia did some post aid for you. You seemed to have dreamed. But your area was clear. Your clothes were dry and clean, too. Oh, and of course, it was Yan Yan who investigated your clothes and mouth by feeling it through the streams. She kept blushing and apologizing to you as she did while you were out cold. Remnants of the past. place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. show up it wasn't here when we just got here but I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence so it appeared while we weren't looking 
point where maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. According to the hero plays, yes, there's a chance for that.
Strength from the shadows. Uh. Huh. Keep it together. Bad timing. Let me be your blade.
Oh, by Pangu Terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when I detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an overlord class. disappear and the etheric sea vanishes once that happens the resonance beacon signals will come back the tacit field will dissipate biding time for its next resurgence <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the city hall and the academy let's make our exit Wasn't it your resonance ability? Rover, are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting the tacit discord? Baiju, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's resonance medical department? Hmm. Baiju? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. As human Form, they condense the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong. As there was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first echo ever. Then they used the power of that echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. Actually, I'm not. I hope I was, though. Those were 
were just some old tales my parents used to tell me. Kind of like the Sentinel's appointment thing. Yan Yang's got an impressive memory for the ancient texts. Me, I just happen to roughly remember what the story's about. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and process. Rover. to all of Jinjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. person our magistrate was talking about as rover wow so this is the true measure of a 
chief. I mean, of our rover. This is the true measure of a chief. It's a famous line from a good old hero play. It's been running for almost four years. It's a really heartwarming tale about the chief and their squad. Okay. What are your plans now, Rover? I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the magistrate's message, it seems We're back in Jinjo. I'll treat you that famous specialty from Panhua's restaurant. It would be best for your well being to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. While there don't seem to be any immediate side effects following the absorption of that echo, we cannot rule out the possibility of other latent risks.
and resolute.
gonna get you when you can absorb. I never go back on my phone. Can you reenact what you did before? Hmm. Maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. Or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Or maybe... Maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. Your terminal's got a different look, but the functions are pretty much the same. Hopefully this helps. Huh! Huh! An unexpected discovery.
Hopefully this helps. Keep it together. Let me be your blade. Storm, hear my command! Swift and resolute. The end has come. Shapeless! Jinjo City's just up ahead! Rover? <laughs> there you are. My dearest. Seed of fate. Alrighty, what should we do next?
Shall we go grab a bite? I am to return to the Academy. The anomalies of the gorges of spirits, the resurgence of the tacit field, and the many wave-worn phenomena occurrences. I should report them. Then I'll go submit a report and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the magistrate while I'm there. It's the political hub of Jinzhou, and where the Grand Library is located. City Hall is an important place. Seeking an audience with a magistrate isn't too difficult, but there are still rules to follow. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first, and we'll just hang out for a while. Being new to Jin Jo and all, she can't be left standing outside the city hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then, I'll leave you in Shizya's care, Rover. Is that all right with you? I'll give you... Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are... F Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. The unique nature of your condition requires specialized treatment only available in the Huashu Academy, and your body is bound to arouse the interests of many researchers. Myself included. Baiju, I think your last sentence... I see. I agree that my phrasing lacked the attention to detail. Please. You guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! Then I'll have more time to show Rover around. We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances, hero plays, stand-up shows, and then maybe the martial championships. Plus tons of different treats to try out. You think it, we have it. Chissa, ally of justice at your service. Are you the one in need of a hero?
quickly. Let me see. Uh, think of it as Chinchou's largest service station. Or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person myself. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center all in one enormous package. The smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons. in place. Bover, you can come visit the magistrate at any time. You can catch up?
mean I'm not the VIP the magistrates expected? Go see for yourself. Everyone's been talking about it. Ew. First time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non-staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most people were advised. Most people were advised to leave by the magistrate's bodyguard upon sending in their applications. The ones staying here are either a try to feel that made it inside said it only took one pleasing look from Lady Sun. What kind of description is that? Sounds like you met some snake-haired lady and got turned into stone. She's the magistrate's personal bodyguard. Oh, I've heard of her before. She's the all-around death glare slash terminator ice beauty. That's what the rumors say, at least. There is a small chance she's not in the city hall. But it's very unlikely for her not to be in Jinzhou. Or rather, it's nearly impossible for the magistrate to leave Jinzhou at all. With her busy schedule, it's already difficult to find any time off. In addition, as the magistrate of Jinzhou, leaving the land under her jurisdiction without authentication is not allowed. Jinjo's safety is under threat. Yep. There's gotta be something big if that's the case. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree, though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Sure it can. Magistrate's the best lead we have for now, no matter what she has in store for Rover. Huh? Me? I'm just wondering how to take you, Yang Yang, and Baijiu for some chow after this. But my shift's almost coming up. Don't know if we'll make it. I think we should keep you company, at least while you're still here. Thank you. 
to shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear you. Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. Please, follow me. Kindly have a seat. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is Sam Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Magistrate advise you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Because she will require at least three days to complete her current task. Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person. You... 
I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. When it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. Sorry, I cannot disclose her whereabouts at this time. Please trust me that she is eagerly looking forward to meeting you in person. Pardon my inability to provide a better answer. Madam Magistrate has a task that she must handle alone, but she has never for one moment forgotten about her meeting with you. Not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, she had to leave without having the chance to welcome you in person. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you... You are truly exceptional. Regarding that... My eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You, you share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? Yes, it's the gourd on your waist the device every resonator carries. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the City Hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinzhou? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance.
here in the city hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Anything I can help you with, Rover? Rover! It took you so long! What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. <clears throat> rising in it i sensed the increasing tacit fields and cannily powerful tacit discords and now our match plus the mysterious rover i'm afraid about them.
Went on a trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But what does it mean as a token? Hmm. It seems like a miniature sundial. It is a horological device that tells time by using sunlight's direction. Sundials in Huanglong usually have marked lines for the 12 shichuns in a day, and every shichun is two hours long, with some showing seasons or months. The design of this sundial looks a bit unusual, though. On this sundial, Time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the Teal Long represents the East. The white tiger stands for the west, the vermilion bird stands for the south, and finally, it seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction, but how can it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. This leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still... Jizya and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. Just still waiting for us at the academy.
I don't have candy like that. But I've got this. It's really good. You, um, you can have one. N no need to thank me. Uh, please have fun and... There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see, Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. Select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover.
Wait a sec, someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry, it's all right. I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops, almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover, Yin Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you. If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. when there's any updates. Sure, go do your thing. Don't worry. Rover, let's go inside. to my message she's probably busy in her lab over there must be mr mortify from the department of safety bye anyway let's try asking him shall we what you need something refuse to tolerate the foolish striving of those insatiable slugs. Since it's difficult for our research to deal with a man like him, I'd rather handle it personally and swiftly. And Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. Friends of Baijiu, and we're here to look I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baja should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is... Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. 
discoveries during your trip to the city hall? to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes. And this report will be ready five minutes. Take a right and you'll find me in the testing room. status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal?
seeing the Crownless' data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The Crownless' frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. sufficient data. within you, scientists would be eagerly seeking to understand it. There are so many mysteries about you worth exploring. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. simulated training ground don't worry yang yang and i will assist you please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would One of the sounds. Ha. 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 Oh, such a nuisance. Ha. Ha. Tranquility. Oversight. Administering first aid. Let me be your blade. Ha. 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 
As Yotan had previously detected, your bodily functions are in good condition. And you seem entirely unaffected by the Crownless's energy. Now, you boost your resonance ability for protection. Swift and resolute. One with the sound. Strike from the shadows. The hour is upon us. Not, not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. This mode will be overwhelmed to fully test your potential. Synchronization. Don't worry. Oh, nice. Give it my all. to me. Ha! Ha! <clears throat> Rejuvenating snow. Sit straight up ahead. Huh. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? I'm back to the same spot again. And this... Hmm. What is happening? Are those tacit discords? now the connection was suddenly cut off rover do you still remember what you saw can you give us some more details giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. Might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonoro Sphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonoro Spheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonoro Sphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your 
arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. Also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth in terms of bodily functions you seem to be in perfect health in fact all the day but if you feel anything unusual please come find me anytime Quit the chit-chat. Tell me what you need and I'll make it for you, provided your descriptions are reasonable. Yotan and I will ensure your safety.
here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. When you scan it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. isn't my field of study. I specialize in developing tacitite weapons, but the foundational theories behind these applied technologies are quite similar. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheel in the correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We can certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Hmm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well... Since you've put it that way... Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling... It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to come over. Let's come back later, shall we? Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned.
Indeed. You just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Zhang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. little sundial here but I do admit talking with Zhang Li made it easier he's the expert in automata mechanics I mentioned earlier the only principal investigator we currently have Mr. Mortify, we found the parts. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it.
from the purple leaf you presented, I've detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20 year old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be So, the disks are rotatable now. Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. for calendars, numerology, and indexing, but it's falling out of daily use. Now, what kind of information could it represent? filing system.
Most of Huang Long's libraries still use this method to organize their namely the grand libraries. Yes, the large data repository is located in Huanglong's major cities. The Academy's public are organized in this manner too. found it. It's located on the way shelf. Thank you. 